Hey, we get around form. This is Grant Gursky with Open House Imaging. And the other day I started, actually I responded to a thread about which iPad they use and why and the new iPads. And I made a comment that uh, Dan caught about using an iPad Mini 4, how I grabbed my son's iPad Mini 4 since my iPad Air 2, which is my main go-to iPad that I scan with, failed to charge overnight. And I felt that it scanned faster. Um, so call me crazy. Uh, I decided to do this totally scientific test to see if the iPad Mini 4 scans just as fast the same as the iPad Air 2. So what I've done is I've set up my two Matterport cameras here side by side. They have exactly the same firmware. And before anybody uh, rails on anything, this is not normally how I set up. As a matter of fact, this isn't even my normal tripod for this one. My other shooter has the other tripod we use in his car. This is my still camera. So uh, no, this is not normally how I do it. This is completely set up uh, for this experiment. Right here, I have an iPad Mini 4 and I have the iPad Air 2 that are, uh, this iPad is the one I normally use. So let's scan and find out. Okay, so I have both iPads side by side right here. The iPad Air 2 on the right, the iPad Mini 4 on the left. The Matterport cameras are set up over there and I'm going to enlist the help of my sons to push the scan capture buttons on the capture and one other thing it's both iPads have the same software on them uh, both up to date from Matterport so gentlemen put your fingers on the scan buttons and on my account let's go three two one scan Okay, we're coming up on the end of the scan. Pretty much simultaneous. The transfer's taking place. So on that one, the iPad Air beat the transfer. And there you go, it's already aligned on the iPad Air 2. And so it seems to be that the iPad Air 2 is slightly faster than the iPad Mini 4.